I'm with Mirzad Ashnagaran, Global Product Line Manager, Electrification and Composite Plans for ABB, a global leader in electrification and automation, for a discussion on the electric mine. Hi, Mirzad. Hi, Nadav. Uh, Mirzad, electrification has been a hot topic in the mining sector for a number of years now, and it's only going to get bigger. But what does full electrification actually look like, and what technologies does it involve? For many decades, we are in the actually electrification of the mines. Uh, this is a background of ABB in electrification and automation system. We are equipped to electrify the mines based on the fit to the purpose solutions that we have for our customer. This fit to the purpose cost, uh, to solution customer uh, design and apply to provide the best technology for our customer and also in the same time meet the requirement of the operation and also in the same time minimize and optimize capex and opex of the project. But now we have uh, uh, by that, as I said, backed by the long experience of ABB in integration of automation, digital, uh, digitally connect equipment with the, with the operation, and also automation system, we have now a new commitment towards market. We need to actually support our customer to create a kind of sustainable progress for our customer through their energy transition. To be able to do that, we need to extend our scope of work towards mine area, where we normally will not be present because everything, every machine, every truck was based on the fossil fuel energy. And now by offering of the e-mine, we are making this electrification be possible and also this energy transition uh, be workable. Uh, in other words, e-mine make all electric mine happen uh, by full integration of electrification, automation and digital from mine to the port. But we uh, need to consider a lot of aspects around the e-mine. Uh, one of the very most important thing is actually uh, having a kind of innovating business model. Uh, collaboration between OEM was one of the very first steps that we took in, in ABB when we started to enter to all electric mine market. To speed up the creation of the solution for greenhouse gas emission, also carbon reduction, we thought that it needs that we create a kind of a strategic setup between the what we call it key technical supplier or key technical providers to able to work closely with each other. First of all, go to the market, to our customer, get the requirement, then closely work to, with, it, with each other and create the right solution for the market. And in the same time, the joint development and co-creation play a crucial role to use the domain expertise to create uh, actually interoperable solution, which is actually extremely important in the e-mine market right now for us and is, a, is more or less is a kind of task for us. In addition, the continuous alignment between the OEM and key technical suppliers uh, will favor also the establishment of the mining industry standard, which is also another task and important goal for us. In addition, also, we learned that uh, to implement electrification, getting involved in the earliest stage of the project is quite crucial and important for us. That's why that we try to conduct a kind of critical uh, uh, techno-economic assessment by a comparative uh, simulation studies to be able to understand better the particular mining operation, also to provide the guidance for a project specific and a strategic decision, and also at the same time customize the best fit a particular mining operation. Also in this journey of one and a half year or a bit more, it's becoming clear for us that we need to give another message to the, to the market and also to the customer that electrifying of the ecosystem of the mine might not happen overnight. It needs time and it takes time. And uh, uh, mines from electrification point of view design is a bit different than traditional mine. Therefore, we are working closely these days with our customer and also with the miner to break down their roadmap of electrification or a long term roadmap for electrification uh, to break it down to the uh, short term uh, actionable or workable projects piece, of, piece by piece, step by step to gradually transform their uh, their actually uh, operations. Uh, also, we wanted to be there to help our customer to build the workforce, uh, being able to uh, actually this workforce later on take on the challenge and also avoid our customer face 
the shortest shortage of a skill in this transition towards electrification. These are all the aspects around the EMOI that I could actually mention. OK, and you mentioned uh, automation. I'd, I'd like to ask about that. Um, specifically, why um, why should mine operators uh, or should mine operators be thinking about automation when they plan for electrification? And how should they be thinking about the relationship between these two components, uh, electrification on the one side and automation on the other? Yeah, very good question, because always we consider electrification automation go, always goes hand in hand um, in our electrification business that we talk. I mean, uh, integration of the solution with automation and digital system quite important and crucial this day. We are set up to plan, monitor and control process optimize the operation and energy usage from grid to wheel, and we need to effectively manage the process uh, and also power control simultaneously. That's why uh, we have to deliver a highly standardized, configurable, configurable automation solution for continuous production, and also it's connected to the power control and advanced integration and also considering the interoperability. We must also, the other side, manage the mine cyclical uh, loads efficiently, and also we have to increase the productivity while also reducing cost and emission from the other side. That's why, that for example, we need the uh, power and energy management. Also, we have to, from the other side, have the full visibility over complete value chain from mine to the port or the health condition of multiple type of the asset or uh, uh, ensure that... Uh, uh, the highest productivity is actually achieved and also improved maintenance costs and also increase uptime. That's that's why they did, they, we need actually the asset uh, performance management and also important uh, actually model. We must also efficiently manage the allocation of uh, people and assets uh, connected to the energy requirement uh, uh, in a way to improve the productivity while also uh, again, like the other models, uh, reduce the cost, uh, reduce the environmental impact. That's why that we need the mine operational uh, or mine operation management. Therefore, when we look at the, all these modules, which is actually very important uh, part of uh, uh, automation system and also our digital uh, uh, platform, uh, having such a module fully integrated where electrification is needed, then more or less we should need to consider automation as a kind of glue to put everything together. And finally, you, you, you mentioned um, helping mine operators implement electrification step by step, broken down into different steps. So it seems like a lot of mine operators have electrified parts of their fleets and mines, but uh, that no one has yet achieved, you know, what could be considered full mine electrification. Yeah. So uh, what will it take for an operator to achieve that, to achieve full electrification? And would you be open to predicting uh, how long into the future it will take before we, we see the first operator uh, achieve this? Yeah, very important question. Unfortunately, it's still uh, is a long way to go. We are not there yet, but we need for understanding why we need to know some other facts about the mining business. First of all, the high grade ores and actually accessible ores are declining. I mean, we are more and more uh, needs energy to extract the material, to haul, to transport, to load, and actually at the end to process the material. This more energy needed and also in the same time, uh, more and more mines or accessible ores are in the remote area, far from the grid network and far from the actually from the infrastructure. Uh, that means that uh, we can see or we can forecast in the future, uh, mining industry heavily rely on the renewable energy to be able to drive its green development and. Therefore, integration of the renewable energy, in our opinion, is a kind of must in the ecosystem of the mine and have to be embedded in the mine design from the beginning. The other topic that we need to consider is that in mining, we have a kind of, yeah, first of all, mining is a very uh, energy intensive industry and we have a constant energy uh, requirement, means that in the mine, more or less in the largely uh, uh, consideration, we have a kind of uninterrupted uh, uh, schedule, means that requiring a constant 24-7 power during the operation. That is unfortunately is a, create a kind of uh, limitation because when we talk about the key renewable energy like a uh, solar system or the wind, they are actually more or less, they are very much variable and that makes a 
unfortunately a kind of technical uh, limitation because a storage technology cannot yet uh, economically support the longer hours of uh, storage. And this limits the kind of uh, 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 capacity of renewable energy when we want to integrate and uh, actually bring it to the operation of the uh, mining business. Also, uh, in addition, um, I, I can say that for achieving a su successful integration of renewable energy into the mine, the mine operation, uh, it, this very much depends on uh, sta stability and also reliability of the power system. The quality of the power is quite important because when the equipment are powered with the renewable energy, they require a bit different technique and also a, a significant change uh, to the energy supply chain, uh, actually infrastructure, and that uh, that is actually something that we need to uh, uh, consider. In other words, I should say all electric mine definitely needs the integration of renewable energy. Definitely, we need to integration of the storage system and should be actually in the right uh, quality of the power. Uh, therefore, with all these technical limitations that we have right now, I should say we need some time to get to that point. Mezad, thank you for your insights into mine electrification.